incongruous. Let's go. I am God. <laughs> exactly, you're the playwright and the director. Exactly. No, nobody in the play is me. I'm just the playwright. This was originally a script I wrote uh, 11 years ago, probably. The idea was to make a film and to create a very incongruous situation of an Indian who wants to be cremated with Hindu rites in San Francisco, which I felt would lead to very interesting situations and for a movie, very interesting views. Uh, part of the visuals of the movie were a, a pyre, an earthy lit up under the Golden Gate Bridge and a beautiful shot of an earthy in flames with the Golden Gate in the background. So to some extent, uh, the idea was visual and it was also very appealing to imagine what it might mean for a man who has lived in the US all his life and is an American citizen and so on to want to reassert his Hinduness. Naturally, I don't think of it as a warm and fuzzy desire. There is something stupid and hypocritical about it also. So the idea was to create a very incongruous situation and see how it plays out while providing beautiful shots to my viewers. At least in the movie, that was the idea. Naturally, when I, a few months ago, just found the script in my notes and adapted it for a play. Uh, some of those visuals became impossible because it's a play, so some adapt adaptation had to be done. The most challenging part is the cow, probably. I mean, uh, logistically, uh, the most difficult part is getting a live animal on stage. But um, uh, other challenging parts, of course, is that a large number of people are present on stage for large parts of the play. It's always a little complicated to figure out what to do with 10 people on stage because typically in a play, uh, one person speaks at a time. What do you do with the other nine? Where do you position them? And also what do they do? Where do they stand and what do they do? That tends to be a little complicated. So if when you watch the play, you might notice a very large number of entries and exits. People keep rushing in and rushing out, which is my way of uh, handling the situation. Uh, when I don't know what to do with an actor, I find an excuse for them to either get busy with some work or I um, have them leave the stage. I'm beginning to find that a little challenging. Oh, probably it's a reflection of my mind. I don't know. No? I don't know. No, it's not deliberate. Okay. But my books are in some sense different from my plays mm -hmm. in that when I do plays, typically I write them for our audience here, not our audience, right? So I, I probably have Indians in the Bay Area in mind. When I write books, I have a much broader audience in mind. And perhaps that is somehow reflected in the book. Well, to some extent, I don't know how to make a film, but I know how to do a play. There are too many technical challenges when making a film. And at least when I made films, I found myself somewhat overwhelmed by them and I did feel that perhaps the story I wanted to tell did not come across in the final film and of course a film is much more than the than the shots being taken there is so much more to a film such as obviously editing which can completely transform a film while in a play there is no such thing as editing what you're producing is live on stage <laughs>